think she's back. Hello everyone! Did you notice the visuals at the start of this video? I generated all of them using COG Video with a Comfy UI workflow. Today, I'll show you how to create your own AI-generated videos using COG Video. Let's get started. And the best part? Everything is running online. That means you don't need to install Comfy UI or COG Video locally, saving you both time and data. Plus, as you know, these tools require a powerful GPU and reliable hardware. But don't worry, I've found the perfect solution for that. All right, guys, the solution is Mimic PC, an online AI generator platform. But it's not like other sites. Mimic PC provides high-end hardware for a set period, including powerful GPU resources. This means you can run AI tools like Stable Diffusion, Face Fusion, Comfy UI, Flucus, and many more directly in your browser with just one click. Okay, let's get back to it. Now, let's dive in and learn how to generate a video using COG Video with the Comfy UI workflow. Now, first, head over to Mimic PC using the link in the description and log in. Once you're in, click on Add New App. Now, you'll see a variety of applications available. Find Comfy UI and click on Get Started. Next, select your preferred version, hardware, and the duration you'd like to run Comfy UI. Don't worry, you can extend the time later if needed. Once everything is set, click Create and Start. Now, just wait a few seconds for your application to begin deploying. All right, guys, now you can see that Comfy UI is up and running and it has automatically loaded the default workflow. Let's go ahead and give it a try with the default setup. Okay, now that you've seen how it works, it's time to generate a video using COG Video. To get started, you'll need to clear the current workflow and install the COG Video nodes. To install the COG Video nodes, click on Manager and then open Custom Nodes Manager. Now, search for COG Video and install the node. Next, you'll need to relaunch Comfy UI. Just click Relaunch and wait a few seconds. All right, after relaunching, we're going to start with text to video. Download all the workflows using the link in the description and load the text to video workflow just like I'm doing now. Now you can see all the nodes have loaded without any issues. First, set save outputs to true, and then select the clip name as T5XXL in the load clip section. Now, in the text encode node, enter the prompt you want to generate as a video. For this demonstration, I'll stick with the default prompt. Next, select the 5B model as the COG video model. Now, in the COG video sampler, you can select the video quality, number of frames, and other options. Modify these settings as you prefer, or you can keep the default settings. Now click Cube Prompt to start the generating process. It may take some time depending on the hardware you selected while creating the application on Mimic PC. Great, now you can see that our video has been generated based on the prompt we provided. To download the results, click the View Sidebar icon, then select the Output folder. Next, click the Options icon and choose Download. So let's take a look at our results. Perfect, right? You might notice some frame drops, but don't worry, I'll guide you on how to upscale videos as well. Now let's move on and see how to do image to video using COG Video. To do that, clear the current workflow and load the image to video workflow. Okay, now you might notice a missing node, but don't worry, just navigate to Manager and click on Install Missing Custom Nodes to install all the missing nodes. Now you can see the list of missing nodes, so go ahead and install all the missing nodes and relaunch your application. Great, now that the missing node has loaded, so set the clip name to T5XXL. Then enter the prompt to generate your video based on the uploaded image. If you'd like, you can also add a negative prompt. Okay, now in the COG Video Model node, you can keep the default model. After that, set Save Output to True in the Video Combine node, then click Q Prompt to start the generating process. Now, just wait a few minutes. And if you need more time for your application, simply click Extend, add the additional time, and click Confirm. Amazing! 
See guys, our video has been generated just as I requested. That's how Cog Video works with Comfy UI. Now it's time to enhance the quality of our video using an upscaler. Let's dive in and see how to do that. All right, first clear the current workflow, then double click on the workflow to add the nodes we need for upscaling the video. First, search for the upload video node and add it, then add the CR upload image node. Finally, add the video combine node and connect them all just like I'm doing. Now in the combine video node, set the format to MP4 and adjust the frame rate to your preference. Next, in the CR Upscale Image node, adjust the parameters as you prefer, or keep the default settings. And you'll notice the Upscale model is undefined, which means you'll need to download Upscale models for your comfy UI. To do that, click Manager from the right menu, then select Model Manager. Now filter the type to Upscale and download the 4X UltraSharp model, then relaunch comfy UI. Okay, now you can see that the upscale models have been loaded into our node, so select the 4X Ultra Sharp model, upload the video you wish to upscale, and click Q prompt to proceed. Then, just wait a few minutes. Wow. Now you can see we have our upscale video, and there are no frame drops, right? Let's take a closer look and compare it with our original video. So guys, that's how you can generate videos using Cog Video with Comfy UI. I hope you've learned something new and gained some great ideas. And remember, this isn't the only thing you can do with Mimic PC. As I mentioned earlier, you can also run many other tools like Stable Diffusion for AI generation services. And I have a surprise for you. Right now, Mimic PC is offering a lifetime code for just $49. This means you can use Mimic PC for a lifetime with all these amazing features. If you're interested in purchasing, check the link in the description. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and don't forget to comment with your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.